Hi, this is Roxanne. Welcome to the research essay week. Actually, it's three weeks. Um, we have three weeks to do this assignment. And as a matter of fact, you have three weeks and three days to do this assignment. I'm giving you about 10 days more than I would give you in a face to face class. Um, and that's because I'm not with you to um, make sure you're doing everything and to follow you home and um, make sure that you're doing everything you're supposed to. I don't really follow people home. Um, so um, I'm going to give you the opportunity, give you a little extra time. Um, I'm hoping you're not going to use this extra time um, to do um, other things like um, going on vacation, skiing in Switzerland, um, you know, cave diving in Guatemala. Or No, they don't have that there. Um, anyway, so that's the first thing I'm here to say. So, um, and then if you take a look here, um, when you click on the um, essay writing process, um, it's called What We Do When, and it's in the very first, at the very beginning of the learning module, this is what pops up. And this is telling you what's due and when it's due. And we have the extra credit opportunities. Um, which I know some of you like. Speaking of the extra credit opportunities, some of the grades in this class are a tad inflated because of the ex extra credit opportunities, and that's fine. I, I'm, I'm fine with that. Um, however, I just need to let you know that um, in the state of California, anyone who's taking an English 1A class or anything um, or any version thereof in a California community college, a UC, or a CSU has to write 8,000 words um, worth of significant writing um, at a C level or better. And so that's what I've built into this class. And I built it in um, so that um, I know that some people may have had a little trouble at the very beginning of the semester, and that's fine. You don't need to be freaking out and going, oh my gosh, I'm not going to hit my 8,000 mark. You're going to hit your 8,000 mark um, when you um, partially, this is a, a huge step with this assignment. Also, um, according to the state of California, any English 1A class or equivalent thereof um, requires students to complete a research essay that includes citing of sources um, and using the sources in the paper. And that's what you're going to be doing. So um, this is um, a hello, um, a little introduction to the three weeks and four days, and also to let you know that you have to do this assignment at a C level or better or you cannot pass this class um, because you have to do this assignment. It's a, it, I mean, the state of California mandates it. And of course, of course you're gonna do the assignment. You know, if you're still in the class right now, you're in, you know, we're more than halfway there. So um, to the end of the semester. So, and um, what else did I wanna say about this assignment? Oh, this is also what I wanted to say. If you end up wanting to research a subject that you've already researched and maybe completed a paper and submitted it to another class, please contact me first. Um, I, I'll need to know a little bit about that. Um, some instructors don't let you do that. I, I don't really have a problem with it as long as you don't think, oh, well, I've just, you know, I'll just like slap a couple different sentences in there and rearrange the paragraphs the way Roxanne wants them and then I'll be done. Um, you know, and also, if you've already submitted it to turnitin.com and then you resubmit it to turnitin.com for this class, you plagiarized yourself. And that happens quite often. And it's quite a um, topic of conversation on the Columbia College campus. Is that some instructors say no, some instructors say, you know, it doesn't matter. So, again, if you're going to be using a paper you've already used, um, please contact me first. Anyway, there are steps involved. Um, in this writing process. And one of the steps, um, if you're looking right here, um, you have a thesis statement and three topic sentences due um, Thursday the 19th. That's not this Thursday. That's next Thursday. I'm not going to read anything else that you write unless I read that first. If you would like to get credit for it, you'll hand it in on time. But I don't want to read an outline, nor do I want to read an actual essay that does not have a thesis statement and three topic sentences first. Now, you can change your thesis statement. You can change your topic sentences. You can change your whole subject if after a while of researching you decide you don't know. Um, you know, you've decided that you don't want to do this, this subject anymore. That's fine. But um, 
I've been teaching long enough to know that if I can get the thesis statement and three topic sentences from you, then I know we're on the right track that there's that there's there are roots um, holding your paper together. Um, so there's that. So make sure that you read this 25 um, 2500 point research essay writing process. And again, I'm, I'm making sure you know that you need to um, complete this assignment at a C level or better. The um, final draft for sure has to be at a C level or better. Um, but in order to get to the final draft, there are little um, hoops you need to jump through, like a mini outline that's required. And again, I'm not going to read an essay if I haven't seen your mini outline and um, looked it over. So just take a look here. Um, some of the work um, is optional. I don't know why you wouldn't want me to look at something but um, for free, but you know, there's some things that um, are, you know, optional for you to hand in and some things that are required. So just take a look. I'm really excited about this process and please contact me if you have any questions. Um, and then after you're done with this, then it's Easter or the summer solstice or um, whatever you're celebrating. And then we move on to the shadow box and then you are an English 1B or wherever you're headed. So take care and email me if you need to. Um, there's lots of stuff in this learning module. So, you know, you're going to have to spend some time looking through everything. Um, I think that's all I have to say. So I miss you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.